Hey guys, how's it going? Today's Global Intern Day, which means we're gonna have a virtual performance from some artist. I know last year they got Olivia Rodrigo, which is actually pretty cool, even though it was virtual. So I am excited for that. Aside from that, I feel like I'm finally, my work is picking up and I'm getting excited about it. So I'm excited to show you guys what I do on a day-to-day -day basis as well. But I did wake up a little bit late, which means I'm gonna have to hurry. Should be fun. Today's video is sponsored by Curology and their new sunscreen. So thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video. Okay. Hello everyone. This is the outfit of the day. I look so good. I feel like people on my TikTok have been going crazy about like dress code debate or whatever. Well, let me just say, we do not have a dress code. Like literally you can come in wearing anything you want. No one gives a shit as long as you go and get your work done and you don't distract others. I don't think this counts as distracting others, so. Yesterday I had my first spec review, which was both terrifying and also exciting. So I'm a PM and, and during spec review, you gather your whole dev team basically and um, go over your spec and answer any questions they have. Spec is short for like specifications. So when you're writing a spec, what you're doing is describing the specifications for the product that you want the devs to build. Part of me was really scared because this is a product that, to be honest, I don't fully understand yet. I've had a lot of help in like developing it. So I was scared that I was not gonna be able to answer any of their questions and look like a fool in the process, but I think I did answer their questions and I was able to, I don't know, like, Hold my own, I guess. I feel like I'm still very behind on my project compared to other PM interns, but I feel like excited to be behind this time. I just finally feel like I'm making progress, which is yay, week seven, I'm finally making progress. Anyway, see ya. briefly about the sponsor of today's video, which is Curology and their brand new sunscreen. If you didn't know, wearing sunscreen every day is probably one of the best things you can do to help preserve your skin. Now, I did not used to be an everyday sunscreen wearer because I didn't really know about the benefits because you don't see the effects of wearing sunscreen now. You see the effects of wearing sunscreen later in life. And that's something that I didn't really understand. Once I figured it out, particularly, there's that one picture that I think everyone sees of the truck driver, how one side of his face, the skin is like very visibly looser, more wrinkly, sagging because that was what was exposed to the sun his whole life. I was like, I gotta start wearing sunscreen. <laughs> but when it comes to everyday face sunscreens, there are good ones, there are bad ones, and some of them are pricey and some of them are cheap. But this sunscreen, I'm here to tell you, is genuinely a game changer. It's SPF 30, which is all that you need for like good protection. It's also designed for acne prone skin, which is great. Sometimes when I put on sunscreen, I don't know if this makes any sense, I can feel that the sunscreen and my face 
are not gonna be friends. This is designed for acne prone skin, so you know it's not gonna make you break out. It's also a mineral sunscreen. I'm a big fan of mineral sunscreens. It also does not leave a white cast. So for all my ladies and gents out there with a darker complexion, this will not leave a white cast on your skin. The last thing, what I have truly found sets this apart from other sunscreens is that I swear to God, when I use it, I wash my face, I put on moisturizer, and then I put on this sunscreen. My face is so glowy throughout the rest of the day. It gives you this natural shine, this like fresh finish. And so not only is it help protecting my skin, it's also enhancing my skin. So how do you get this sunscreen? That might be the next you're asking. For current Curology customers, you can log in and add the sunscreen to your bi-monthly subscription for just $14. If you are not a current customer of Curology, you can start a free trial and add the sunscreen to your box for free. And the free trial is just $4.95 for shipping and handling. There will be a link in my description if you want to go try it out. And genuinely, this sunscreen is really good. Guys, this sunscreen is really good. I'm not kidding. I use it every day, religiously. So thank you to Curology for sponsoring this video. Definitely make sure to go check them out. Another fun thing I get to do today is lead our team's daily scrum slash bi-weekly stand-up, basically. It's basically just like a stand-up meeting where people go over their like work items and like what they're doing and what they've done. And um, But there is a bit more structure to it, I guess, because from my very limited knowledge from the one leadership class I took, I believe Agile Scrum is a project management method or a product management method. You do groups of tasks sequentially, so you're not working on everything at once. You're working on like task A, and then once task A is finished, you move to task B and then when that's finished you move to task C. Let me... Uh, agile is a philosophy, whereas Scrum is a type of agile methodology. That was my terrible explanation of what our meeting is and I get to lead it. Yay! I am not that excited only because sometimes I start making jokes that I don't understand and usually I just like stay silent but now I have to be like <laughs> Okay, next person, it's your turn, you know, like I have to engage more and I never know what I'm engaging with, so. After this, we can have lunch and then it's the intern event and then do some more work and then go home. That's basically it. That's pretty much it. Okay, and then thing. Awesome, and Matthew, is Nav here? Guess not. To our dev uh, secrets and... Well, that's over. Time to eat lunch. Uh, hello. You think yeah. like this table like encourages more collaboration? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't think so. Or Nina, ignore me. <laughs> this sandwich is terrible. I might take it back to you, okay? intern day was pretty pretty fun so right now it's like 3 30 i'm gonna do a little more work before i go home intern day is kind of just one example of the events that microsoft has for its interns and i think that that is what really differentiates this internship experience from a lot of others i have a lot of friends that are working at various tech companies this summer i don't think any of those companies place as much emphasis on their interns as Microsoft does. The vibe here is really just that they want us to have a good time. They want us to learn a lot and to enjoy ourselves a lot so that we want to come back. I was having a one-on-one -on -one with my skip manager. Uh, skip manager is your manager's manager 
and she was telling me about how she moved here from a different company and I was asking her about the differences between the work culture there and here and she said that Microsoft is very people focused as in like employee focused. For us what that means is that we get a lot of events, we get a lot of like free food, free merch, free gifts, stuff like that and it's also like they don't want to place too much pressure on us to finish our projects so even if we're given a project you don't necessarily have to finish it in order to get a return offer. I know that for some people it is difficult to imagine working at a place like Microsoft. For me, it seemed kind of like a dream. When I was applying for this job, I thought there was like a 90% chance that I wasn't gonna get it. I've talked about this on my channel before, but the summers prior to this, I was not doing any sort of big tech internship. In fact, this is probably my first official tech internship. So my freshman summer, I was working at an advertising agency so random and I was doing digital advertising for them which was kind of interesting to learn about that industry but like definitely unrelated to what I wanted to do later in life honestly to me at the time to even just have an internship was all I wanted sophomore year I again went on the grind and applied to a bunch of internships and nobody accepted me your sophomore year you're still an underclassman so not many companies are going to want you but I was expecting at least more companies to want me, but none of them did, and that's okay. I ended up working at this really, really, really tiny startup in New York, and it wasn't like a cool startup either. It was literally three people running this like tiny company, and they hired seven interns to do their dirty work for them, basically. That being said, I did learn a lot, but one of my projects over that summer was feature development, and that is basically product management. And that leads us to this summer. I got this job pretty early in the hiring cycle. I got it in October. So I was interviewing in September. I got the job in October. And then ever since then, I've just been counting my blessings, to be honest. Anyway, all of that is kind of diverting from the point. What I'm trying to do now is put together a click through of what this feature user experience will look like. I've already made all the wireframes and now I just have to go through them. Hello, this is the walkthrough for... Seattle during the summer truly is very nice. I have to give it up to everyone who's telling me that because they were correct. 